own a 4 0 derby win at Fur Hill today. Your thoughts on the game? Well, first and foremost, the important thing is winning any derby game. Party Thistle at the top of the league on merit because they're a wonderful side. So we knew we were going to have to be our best today. Uh, and as it transpired over the piece, there's no doubt we're certainly worthy winners. Uh, first half, I thought it was, a, it was even, truth be told, this obviously the wonderful chance for a penalty, which I didn't think was a penalty to, be, to begin with. And then Lee Day to pick up a yellow for it. I mean, he's a yard from the header, there's nothing you can do. So that being said, it was missed. Uh, we took up a chance to get in front, as Thistle did. But when we did pass and move, I mean, wonderful opening goal. You know, uh, the build up and then to Josh, cuts inside. Something we worked on, him coming in right foot and then releasing Tommy Robson and a wonderful finish. So coming at half time 1 0, I felt on merit. And then, but we'd said to him at half time, really important with the taking care of the pass because we didn't do it well enough in the first half. And if we had with the, with the this was initial press because they come and they really put you under pressure, but we take care of that first pass, we knew we could cut them open and get 1v1 situations with our white players. And you know, your Don Thomas, your Josh McPates, Grant Savories, these boys, Lloyd Longridge, the boys that can play in that, that wide area that can do. You know, Lewis Moore when he's come in, you know, such a a, a, an attacking uh, quality that we have, but these boys are capable of one one situation, you know, cutting inside, getting a shot away, creating a chance, and uh, some of the goals are wonderful. We could have others, I mean, their keeper ended up with a couple of great saves, but important as well was the clean sheet because that, you know, puts it all together. Uh, we know we're a threat middle to front, but what we want to add is that solidity that getting clean sheets certainly gives confidence for the boys to do that from Cal all the way through Big Steven again, another wonderful header which he's capable of and you know Steven's still not fully fit yet, you know, and uh, he played one game in the whole last season. And you know when you're smaller and flighty you'll get away with that, but when you're six foot six it takes time to get your, your body in shape. We just had the baby during the week, there's very little sleep. Obviously his wife was back home in Nigeria giving birth to the third uh, wee baby boy so it was just a wonderful week for him and that caps it off so I'm delighted for him because he's sacrificed a lot to be here he cares for the club and I think there's more to come from Stephen so uh, yeah so we're looking forward to that as you said in the second half we really went and took the initiative controlling the game at that point and creating lots of chances as well as the, the goals yeah I think obviously Thistle committed more forward which suited us because you know when we get it down and pass and move we've shown that we can create and get those 1v1s and 2v1 situations and that's what we worked on but they were always dangerous I mean unless Ian's got a good side they'll be up there at the you know at the business end of the league for sure uh, they were a playoff team last year they've added to that with quality they've added so as much as as we had at Air United the other week they've had a punch in the nose Thistle will bounce back they have a chance during the week actually to go back top of the league with their game in hand so we know they've got quality and that's what helps today that when you come to a team with the quality they have and still be able to to turn out a great performance and obviously a fantastic result. And we were supported today with a really quite strong and vocal away support. That's brilliant, wasn't it? I mean, to come, obviously, this was probably our, our how do we sum this up? This is probably our most home game this season, given that we played here last year. And all credit to Stennis Muir for allowing us to play there. But every game we've played is, is an away game. I can't wait till we get back home for our fans, you know, just to come round the corner, get in there in the numbers, bring the kids, bring the families. But to come today, the vocal support was brilliant. You know, even uh, when it was tight early on, they were right behind us, they were there in the numbers. So again, you know, thank you for that. Because I said the other week, you know, we yeah, we all felt horrible, terrible, because we let them down at, at Air United. Not with the performance, but in the manner that we lost the goals, because I think we'd still had about 18 attempts at goal that day. But these supporters are paying good money to travel far and wide to watch us. So the sooner we get home for them, the better. But uh, I hope they've enjoyed it today at Glasgow Derby and hopefully it goes a little bit in making up for, for the last couple of weeks. And we move on to a tough game on Friday night against Dundee. Yeah, again, another good side, another side that will be up there with Partick Thistle at the end. What we've got to do is, is, is replicate our performance today. You know, they're a good side. I watched them uh, on Wednesday, I was at the game uh, against Rangers. They acquitted themselves very well in the cup. They've got good players, they've got good, you know, good legs, good in the transition as we are. So, but... I think we know when, if you think back to the Dead's Park game, we could easily have, sounds bizarre, we lost 3 0, we could easily have, had we got in front of that game, went on to win the game. So we'll be very respectful of them, we know their quality, but equally we'll feel we're, we're back at what we call home, although it's not home, but we're back at Senesmuir and we'll feel that's a game that we can win. Thanks, Owen. Pleasure as always, thank you.